जय हिंद वेलकम टू लाइन टेक्निकल हब लाइन टेक्निकल हब में आपका स्वागत है आई एम लाइन सर हैविंग 30 इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन इंडस्ट्री एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट सिंक्रो ट्रांसमीटर एंड सिंक्रो रिसीवर हाउ दे फंक्शंस एंड हाउ द ट्रांसफार्मर एक्शन इज टेकिंग प्लेस इन दिस सो ऑल दिस विल लर्न इन दिस वीडियो सो फ्रेंड्स आप लोग कैसे हैं और मैं उम्मीद करता हूं आप लोगों की तैयारी अच्छी चल रही होगी और उन दोस्तों से मैं रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा जिन्होंने अभी तक हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किए हैं कृपया चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर लें और जो अभी तक जो है पहली बार हमारे चैनल से जुड़े हैं वो भी कृपया चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर लें तो आइए शुरू करते हैं सिंक्रो ट्रांसमीटर राइट जैसा हम देख सकते हैं सिंक्रो ट्रांसमीटर सिंक्रो ट्रांसमीटर इज नोन एज सिंक्रो जनरेटर एंड इट इज ऑल्सो यू कैन कॉल टॉर्क ट्रांसमीटर सिंक्रो जनरेटर और टॉर्क ट्रांसमीटर इट कंसिस्ट ए स्टेटर एंड अ रोटर राइट स्टेटर इज थ्री फेस एंड दैट इज वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री अपार्ट राइट एंड यू कैन से दिंक्रो ट्रांसमीटर इज जस्ट सिमिलर टू योर अल्टरनेटर राइट इन दैट थ्री फेज वाइंडिंग इज देर एंड देर इज यू नो रोटर इज कनेक्टेड विद द फील्ड सो दैट इज रोटेटिंग सो ए रोटेटिंग फील्ड that is being cut by three phase stator winding so similar here the this three phase you know winding s1 s2 and s3 is here in the stator and rotor r1 r2 this is you can say r uh, you can say a magnet this is single winding and uh, if you uh, talk about the shape it is a uh, you know dumbbell uh, kind of things so that is the shape of this rotor so what happened here this three phase windings 120 degree apart so it consists a stator of three phase 120 degree apart and a rotor of a single winding right dumbbell in shape so this transmitter and receiver this is totally you know similar to uh, each other electrically if you talk about but mechanically slightly difference is there because in uh, receiver there is a damper right so synchro receiver synchro receiver is also known as synchro motor or you can say torque receiver or you can say repeater it's also similar to the transmitter electrically right but mechanically slightly it is having difference difference is what difference is that your receiver is having damper right so this is now see r1 r2 that is in rotor and s1 s2 s3 it is a stator so this is a transmitter and this is a receiver so receiver what it does now this your s1 winding is connected to s1 s2 is connected to s2 and s3 you can say connected to s3 right and here r1 and r2 what you do is r1 is you can connect here r to r1 and uh, this you can uh, connect it through r2 right supply you can give it to 115 volt 60 hertz or Somewhere you can give uh, this cycle, you know, more for the better accuracy. One on five volt, that is AC. So what I mean? Now, where this uh, synchro transmitter and receiver is used? Because this is repeater. Your receiver is acting as a repeater. So if you displace this transmitter rotor slightly, so you'll find here. in the receiver this rotor is also set so what you it does basically the mechanical displacement is generating the electrical signal here in the transmitter and this electrical signal is going to the stator of this receiver and here with the effect of s1 s2 and s3 because here the you know uh, whatever the supply is going it is slightly change 
and with that the alignment of R1 and R2 will also change. So what happened? If you rotate this clockwise 30 degree, this will be also rotated 30 degree. And if you rotate anti-clockwise, so this will be following to the transmitter. So this is acting as a repeater. So this is the function and this is quite accurate and even torque is very high. So initially you find the initialization of this. You can see zero, zero rising is must. When you rise it, this is going to follow transmitter. Your receiver is going to follow transmitter. It is not having any concern with where it is being placed because it is already you know supply is connected. So uh, in the ship, if you talk about like in the bridge, there is uh, you know re uh, repeaters or uh, the orders are given from there to engine room or MCR. So there, uh, if they rotate like uh, half a head, slow head, uh, given order to the motors or maybe in the speed wise. So that is being followed in the MCR. Even the automatic operation, this is also being followed, right? So you can say when the gun fire is there, there is a director from the director. If uh, you are rotating your whole entire gun is being rotated accordingly, right? So this kind of things, you know, uh, is being, uh, you know, uh, operated by this. So either this is the transmitter, this is the receiver and function of this, both are having three phase stator binding and there is a rotor and rotor is connected over 150 volt, uh, 60 Hertz and stator, each stator are connected together. What happened when they displace this uh, rotor angle? So what happened? Uh, the magnetic flux is being cut by this all three windings. In this condition, the maximum, you know, uh, flux is here. It is uh, here linked with this, uh, cut with this. So maximum voltage will be induced in this one and half of the voltage will be here. So accordingly, uh, the, this voltage will be here. Uh, maximum voltage is given to this and half of the will be here, this side. So uh, is both will be, you know, uh, aligned together in the same direction. But as you rotate this and uh, it will be in this position, the maximum voltage will here or you can say it will change. So accordingly, this will also follow that. Now I'll tell you how this transformer action is going to take place, right? So here transformer action like you might have seen this is a transformer and uh, 115 volt 60 hertz if you have given here so what happened this is the ac supply right so ac supply is given to this you will find if both you know rotor are in this same position so what happened 115 volt 60 hertz will be here but you'll find because in transformer action uh, this is 180 degree you know opposite so when this positive cycle is coming this side this will become positive this will be negative so you find here will be negative and this side will be positive so it will follow like this right so your output will be 180 degree out of phase so this is the first position when they are each other and angle is 0 degree here angle is 0 degree they are parallel to each other right so there is no difference in rotor and you can say if you talk here these are in the alignment condition there is no phase angle in the rotor and stator so the voltage will be generated 115 volt right second when it is rotated 30 degree so here take the example of this now suppose this one was your s1 this is s2 and now this is sorry this is your p1 mark is the primary and s1 s2 tha, p2 and s1 s2 now this is your p1 will remain p1 and p2 will remain same and this is one on five volt supply will be there always so what happened we have you know change this to 30 degree now what happened the winding is changed to 30 degree now what happened this is your s1 and this is your s2 this angle is 30 degree right now this is 30 degree change so what happened this angle is cos theta cos 30 degree so what happened you find here this voltage earlier 
suppose the cycle was like this so you'll find here it will be from down like this and this will be 97 point or uh, 5 volt around right uh, maybe 97.5 volt so what happened this 30 degree you can take it out with the uh, formula right uh, like uh, e equal to e m cos theta right so what happened cos theta will be your this angle 30 degree theta will be this angle and now this is rotor s1 s2 is your this rotor one or you can say r1 r2 right now make it 60 degree so this is your p1 this is your p2 same ac supply will be this side 1 on 5 volt 60 hertz and you will find that here angle is now 60 degree make it to 60 degree so this is s1 s2 what happened now the voltage will be generated somewhere 57.5 volt and you will find this signal will be you know from here the level voltage will be reduced because this angle is 60 degree now this third position and make it to 90 degree right so what happened you can see here this is p1 p2 your primary will remain same then the stator uh, your uh, will be uh, same but rotor is further rotated to 90 degree so when it is 90 degree it means like this so you find now it is rotated 90 degree so this will be your s1 this will be s2 so what happened the voltage will be generated here it will be zero zero volt and why zero volt because now the flux will be length but nothing will be cutting to this winding so here voltage generation will be zero volt at the 90 degree further your rotate so what happened you will find this is your input p1 p2 and now this further is rotating to 90 to 120 degree so what happened now your winding is going to be like this so what happened now this s2 is going up s1 is down below so this is 120 degree 120 degree or uh, you can say here so again you know the portion it will, it will be cut uh, very uh, you know few so you'll find only 57 degree 57.5 volt and the phase it will be in the same phase now because it is already rotated s2 and uh, this will become s1 so what happened now the phase will be similar right s1 and s2 now what happened because theta 180 minus theta uh, 120 so 60 degree will be this much so further you rotate uh, 120 to 150 degree so you'll find that p1 p2 and when further it is rotated to s2 s1 here yeah, 150 degree theta will be 150 degree so you'll find that this is going to give you here 97.5 volt and theta your phase angle will be similar to the input voltage right this one here it is 1 on 5 volt 60 and when it is opposite you know rotated and you will find that suppose the middle of the task opposite suppose when it is raised to just reversed fully reversed and raised in the same now the theta is 0 degree but s2 s1 half ka and p1 p2 right this is the stator and this is a rotor rotor is rotated 180 degree you know reversed so you'll find here 
Now the voltage will be 115 volt 60 hertz and here the phase will be also in the same way because this is rotated 180 degree. So earlier in the beginning in the first uh, your uh, IJ transformer you will find your phase will be you know uh, out of phase 180 degree but because this is rotated 180 degree so here the positive uh, phase will be uh, here in the S2 and S1 if you take the voltage it will be 115 volt total voltage will be gained so like that when you displace the transmitter uh, slowly the voltage also you know generated uh, in this stator winding will be changing and uh, with the help of this the other you know rotor because rotor is uh, given from the same source so what happened uh, it is being deflected you know uh, accordingly with the stator voltage so it will also rotate it without rotating anything because this rotor is free to rotate rotor is free to rotate karne ke liye, so the voltage jo generate in the stator mein, uski se, ye rotate kar raha hai. And rotor dono ka jo hai, voltage is the same source, 115 volt 60 hertz. Right? Kahi par, aap isko, uh, jo hai, iski frequency aap ki, uh, 60 hertz. So, you can see that 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 you can क्योंकि ट्रांसफार्मर एक्शन जैसे मैंने बताया था कि प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी में अगर सेम टर्न्स हैं और इसमें एक चीज आप ध्यान रखिएगा कि ट्रांसमीटर में ये जो तीनों वाइंडिंग होती है परफेक्टली 120 डिग्री जो है कि अपार्ट होते हैं ईच अदर और नंबर ऑफ टर्न्स जो है बिल्कुल सेम होते हैं किसी तरह का इसमें कोई चेंज नहीं होता है और इसका आगे हम जो है वीडियो काफी लंबा हो जाएगा मैं आपको बताऊंगा कि इसका जिरलाइजेशन कैसे करते हैं इनिशियलाइजेशन करते हैं कैसे और uh, initial जब हम इसको generalize करते हैं, तो वो calibration बहुत जरूरी है, right? और इसका generalize करना, इसमें आपका actual method क्या है, voltage method क्या है, ये सब सारी चीजें हम next video में discuss करेंगे। अगर हमारा video आपको अच्छा लगा, तो आप like करें, दोस्तों को share करते हैं, और channel को subscribe अवश्य कर लें, क्योंकि इस तरह के मैं technical videos बनाता रहता हूँ। मिलते हैं अगले video में, जय हिंद।